Hi, I'm Vince Weston, and this is actually my uh, Papa Dan bass appreciation video <laughs> for just as good a turn. Uh, after Papa Dan built that bass for uh, the Cessna 172 in the dock, and I'm sure you've all seen that, so I won't go into specifics about it. Uh, there was a few of us that decided that we we're going to do a similar, and this is one of mine. Uh, about three quarters of the way through this one, I realized that my original intention for the bass for this CB RC3 was actually uh, with the wheels down and rolling up onto the shore. And uh, since I'd gotten so far through it, I was like, the heck with it, I'll just finish this one up and work from there. Uh, the bottom is actually a piece of plywood. It's about quarter inch. And um, I used the toilet paper technique that Papa Dan talked about and Mod Podge on top. Um, anybody that tries to attempt this, uh, the Mod Podge is not as easy to work with as you might think it is. I think a couple of people have figured that out, and I've still got some spots, like in, right there, where the Mod Podge is actually still um, white. It never really dried clear completely, but... I'm leaving it alone at this point. It came out pretty good. So, here I'll give you a look at that. Um, I've got a couple of pictures here of in progress. Uh, first one is um, just the toilet paper on the plywood. The next one uh, was when I f put my first paint layer on. I was going to go for an effect of rusty water, you know, iron-filled lake that I had seen, and it just didn't come out the way I was liking it, so I changed my mind and went with a blue. And then... I've used uh, kind of some modeledness to the colors to bring in, you know, since it did cover over the rust, there's still some of the iron in the back here. And I dry brushed some of the, the little waves. I wanted to have it as more of a, a calm lake with just a breeze across it. So that's, you know, it's coming from this side <laughs> and down so that's why i've got the ripples where the boat's sitting where the water would ripple around it that's what i did and like a, th this is only my first attempt like i said i i prefer to have um the boat or the plane i should say on its wheels and coming up closer onto the shore, so I'm gonna. I have another piece of this plywood. It was basically some scrap that I got from work. Uh, must have been part of packing material. So I had a couple of them left, and uh, I figured this was good for experimenting with this. So I came out okay. But like I said, working with that Mod Podge, it's you got to kind of work with really thin coats and make sure you thin it around your ripples really well, or else you're going to get some white spots like there. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it, so that's about all I got for this one. Just wanted to give you a quick view. So I'll say thanks for watching and doing all those things YouTube, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Vincent Weston. Models foam the dungeon.